Is conversion necessary for salvation? In a document called Go Make Disciples, the National Conference of Catholic Bishops defined conversion in this way. Conversion is the change of our lives that comes about through the power of the Holy Spirit. All who accept the gospel undergo change as we continually put on the mind of Christ by rejecting sin and becoming more faithful disciples in his church. Unless we undergo conversion, we have not truly accepted the gospel. So conversion is the work of the Holy Spirit. But before he can begin that work in us, we must reject sin and have the desire to be faithful followers of the one true God. It's not something that just happens naturally. Every one of us must make an intentional decision to follow Jesus. And before we're able to make that decision, we must believe in our heart that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and that we will discover our purpose, our happiness, and our hope in Him. We know that sometimes parents must exercise tough love to protect their children from dangers. And the same is true of our Heavenly Father. He knows the dangers all of us face on our pilgrimage through life. And He provides guidance and protection through the scriptures and the church. And yet, we often think we know what is best for ourselves, even when it contradicts what God has revealed. Our temptation is to trust ourselves more than God, and we have all given in to this temptation at times. God has proven his love for us by becoming human in the person of Jesus Christ so that he could personally tell us of his love for us and then make the ultimate sacrifice out of love for us by dying on the cross for our salvation. This is a reality that changed the course of human history 2,000 years ago. Through the centuries, God has worked countless miracles to those who believed in him and then were witnesses of what they believed. And he's still working miracles through those who believe, live, and share their faith with others. And every one of these believers has their own story of conversion, and not just a moment of conversion. This quote is again from the bishops. This is crucial. We must be converted. And we must continue to be converted. We must let the Holy Spirit change our lives. This is what Jesus meant when he said, You must be perfect as your Heavenly Father is perfect. We want to continue to change as Jesus becomes more present in our lives. So how do we change? How do we undergo conversion? The same way that has been done through the centuries. We choose to believe in Jesus and then we ask for his help. With a humble, contrite heart, we must acknowledge that there are some things in our lives that we need to change, and then we must have a desire to change. We read the Word of God every day so that He may speak to us through His Word. We spend time in prayer every day to be connected to the One who will guide and protect us. We worship God and keep His commandments so that we can experience His love. And we receive the sacraments frequently, which are a participation in the very life of God. Salvation is the work of God, and we might be surprised who we will see in heaven. But that doesn't change the fact that God has revealed a plan that allows us to live in intimacy with Him right now. That plan begins with baptism, and it continues to take shape in our lives when we cooperate with His grace and choose to be His disciple, that is, one who believes in Him and lives and shares his faith with others. A disciple is someone who desires to continually undergo change, to be more like the master. Making this choice now will help us to avoid a lot of mistakes and to live with greater peace and joy.